Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think John, not as in like a dictator, but sort of. Let's talk about it. Uh, Lennon. Lennon appeared at the Broadhurst in August of 2005 and disappeared a month later while I was doing summer stock, so I missed it. Um, I know. I'm I thought four times. <laughs> the show told the story of John Lennon's life and starred, ready for it? Will Chase, Chad Kimball, Julia Murney, Marcy Harriel, Mandy Gonzalez, Chuck Cooper, Terrence Mann, Julie Deneo Salkin, and Michael Potts. An amazing, amazing cast. cast. They were amazing. Uh, this was the era of the jukebox musical and what will likely be considered its heyday. Mama Mia had just sunk in, and within the span of 18 months, Broadway got Good Vibrations, All Shook Up, Times They Are Change in Jersey Boys, and Lennon. Fads. Uh, unlike other jukebox musicals, Lennon used its songs to create a collage of John Lennon's life. Director Don Scardino said, We're singing the songs as him emotionally from his point of view. Many thought that this was one size fits all and simplified the legend, but the show aimed to say something very meaningful, with parts of Lennon's story being told by women and men, young and old, black and white. This really emphasized how different types of people have been inspired to live their lives by him. I love this show. This show is amazing. She loves the show. I'm sad that I missed it. Uh, John Lennon wrote a lot of songs later in life that reflected things he went through in his earlier years. They were, uh, these were featured in the show. Also, John and Yoko had actually begun writing an autobiographical musical about their lives in the 70s, and it was going to be called The Ballad of John and Yoko. Two of the songs, India, India, and I Don't Want to Lose You, ended up in Lennon, along with songs like Give Peace a Chance, Power to the People, and Imagine. The idea originated with producer Edgar Lansbury, who had the opportunity to pitch a John Lennon musical to Yoko Ono. He asked Don Scardino, a huge Lennon fan, to come up with a concept. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Don Scardino was a brilliant, brilliant Broadway actor in the 70s. He played Jesus in the original production of Godspell. Uh, he led underappreciated musicals like Angel and King of Hearts. Um, he was very much like the Chad Kimball of his time. Uh, <laughs> true. Um, I actually started a Facebook group, this is true, this is not a lie, called In My Day. We had Don Scardino, not Chad Kimball, like, back in, back in my day. You can join, I think I'm the only member now. <laughs> actually now a director, and he's behind 30 Rock and many other projects. Edgar produced the original Godspell, so him and Don went back decades, and together they put Lennon on at the Broadhurst, where they did Godspell together in the 70s. Everyone working on the show was a huge John Lennon fan. They aimed to honor him, but audiences were big Lennon fans as well, and they were very critical. Expectations. Uh, the show had a troubled San Francisco tryout. It was publicly known that Yoko was calling many of the shots, and Lennon was criticized for being too Yoko-friendly. The creators went on the record that they wanted to tell John's story, not the story of the Beatles, but audiences wanted to hear Beatles tunes. The reviews slaughtered the show, although several had nice words for the cast. One critic said, Lennon is not the cold turkey you've read about. The cast is terrific, and the music is great. Imagine there's no critics. It isn't hard to do. No reason to shun the theater, and no Tonys, too. <laughs> the show played to about half capacity most, most weeks and closed in a month. Um, I'm not lying, though. Honestly, if you take a survey of people who saw it, there are way more people who loved it than didn't. And there are a lot of people who didn't love it, but it's just so terrific. There's actually an amazing like soundboard recording that wasn't released, but that was kind of professionally recorded, that it just proves how amazing the cast was singing these songs. Um, I was actually at the closing performance, and this was 2005. So earlier last year, Julia Murney showed me she had um, a disposable camera, and she took a picture from the stage with the disposable camera at the last performance. And you can see me and my father in the seventh row in her picture. So it was it was a really special show. I really loved it a lot. Um, and I'm super excited here to speak about and sing from Lennon is Mr. Chad Kimball. Thank you. <laughs> you know, the fun <laughs> funny thing is I'm back there and I'm like, no, it didn't. No, it wasn't. They didn't say that, did they? <laughs> they did. Uh, funny story. <laughs> um, I actually left Good Vibrations to do that. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Good night. Um, and before that, I was in a civil, the Civil War. So, um, that was fun. Remember that one? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. So, uh, I remember I had the, um, 
uh, the wherewithal and the foresight to, uh, in my contract, um, get a four week out from Good Vibrations. I don't know why, but uh, I did. And um, so I went to John Carafa, um, uh, who is the director of Good Vibrations, and <laughs> Did I hear chuckling? <laughs> Watch it. Uh, and uh, I, I, I said, can I talk to you? This was in um, 10 out of 12 in tech. And I, I, I went up to him and I said, um, so I just wanted, he said, you're leaving to do Lennon. And I went, um, well, how did, yeah, yeah, he goes, have you read the script? And I looked at him and I said, have you read your script? <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> True. And he kind of just stood there and thought about it. I don't think I have. Um, let's put that on YouTube. Um, so, uh, a couple of fun stories um, from Lennon. The, the song that I'm, I'm going to sing um, is called Mother. And it, uh, in the show, it serves to kind of represent John's emotional state and um, forward thinking um, when he lost his mother and also deals with his father being gone as well. Um, Terry Mann uh, was, uh, we, we all sat on the stage with each other um, while each of us did our songs and, and stuff and so we, you know, sit on chairs and, you know, watch. And this is, uh, this story is from Mandy Gonzalez. Um, during one performance of Mother, um, she looked across the stage and saw Terrence Mann just kind of, you know, sitting there with this really uh, brooding kind of emotional look on his face during Mother, and she thought, oh my god, maybe something's happened to his mother, maybe, you know, he's really in it right now, he's really in it, and she kind of looked at him, you know, was looking at him, and he, he looked up, and this is how serious he is, such a serious actor, he looked up and he saw Mandini. <laughs> Just during the performance, thank you. <laughs> we all care so much about the show. Um, so, uh, without further ado, I'm actually going to sing. Uh, he talks about his uh, mother and how they got the news that she had died. She was hit by a bus, actually. And uh, so, I'm going to try my best uh, Liverpoolian accent for you. I haven't done it in years. And I only did it for a month. So, here we go. Oh. One, one other thing. Sorry, sorry, Ed. <laughs> uh, there was uh, there was a week in San Francisco where uh, you know sometimes as an actor you kind of you, you you learn it, you got it, second nature, and then something happens and you cannot get what you're going for. You can't get the note, you can't get the line, and it kind of happens, and you're in this like baseball type slump, slump where you don't hit. And uh, for about a week, I could not get this note, and it was just a plump like that. And I would go, what, what is it? Yeah, okay. And it's supposed to be, mother! Well, this one was, you know, when I get nervous, it's a little too hot. Mother! And then the rest of the cast was like, mother, you had... So anyway, we'll start it now. Mother, you had me, but I never had Thank you. 
supposed to be, the way it is in the films, asking if I was his son and all that. Well, they told us, and we both went white. It was the worst thing that ever happened to me. I thought, sod it! I've got no responsibilities to anyone now! A chill!